Hi everyone, it's Heather here. Wanting to get back to you and share another one of the guiding principles for leading an exceptional life by John Asraf. Um, and I'm sorry, I could I could be sharing them all in one video, but to me, I really think that it's important to space them out so we can have the time to really ingest and implement the the, the principles, the strategies that we're learning. Um, I find that. When we do too many things at once, when we try to learn 10 things, when we could be learning just one, um, we don't we don't put enough focus on it and so we, we end up um, missing. Like we would say learn four of them and lose six of them because we, we just pick out which works best for us or which is most important to us and the thing is is that these to me these are all really important guiding steps and I think that um, if we have the time in between um, videos so we can really learn them, then we will learn them better. So number three is to say that I am committed to doing whatever it takes to achieve my goals and my visions for my life. And when I see this, when I read this, all I thought was, why not? You can fail at some, uh, doing something you don't like as easily as you can at something you do like. So what in the world is stopping you from doing what you love? Because if you can fail as easily as you can succeed at that, why, why do things you don't like, right? Um, try this. Take the commitment, the... Um, drive and desire and excitement you feel, um, excitement maybe not all the time, but um, in doing and in being part of your nine to five that you do five days or seven days a week, whatever, um, in the um, commitment you have to the habits that you take part in, whether they're ones you desire to be doing or not, um, take that, that drive and desire and commitment and excitement and switch it and put it into your visions and your goals. Just try and even if you share it, whatever, just put that same drive um, into that and see what happens when you add excitement, desire, and need to be part of your goals and your in your visions. Because if you find that you cannot throw that commitment into them and if you cannot add your desire to be part of this and your, like I say, need, um, you might want to reset and go back and rewrite your goals because Oftentimes we will find that the visions and goals we've set for ourselves are actually ones that are other people's goals or visions and we've just taken them on to either say that we have something so we can feel like we've got something set up to, we've got a goal for the future, that kind of thing, or sometimes it's just just something that's easy to say. It doesn't even matter, but the, but the point is, is that you want to make sure your goals and your visions are in alignment with you so that you can want to achieve them, you can want to make them happen. Um, so really take the time to sit down, take the time to really, whether you need a pen and paper in front of you or just some quiet time so you can really think, um, take that moment just for yourself today, five minutes, whatever, and, and really contemplate on which visions you want, which goals you want, so you can know what you want to achieve, where you want to be. Because remember, we can be, we can do, and we can have absolutely anything that we desire. We just have to take the time to actually pursue it, to make it happen. So really take the time to sit down with this today, do what you can to implement it, and have an incredible day. I can't wait to see you again for number four.